What's going on guys? Welcome to another standard video here on YouTube or Twitch, wherever you're watching. And uh, today we're going to play this Sultai deck that I brewed up for Patreon all earlier this week. Uh, not sure if it's any good. Just muscle memory at this point. Seems good. I think that's good enough. That'll do, pig. Um, Deadweight and Eldest Reborn. Oh, Eldest Reborn is good. <clears throat> so, I do like Eldest Reborn a lot. <clears throat> um, I, I like Deadweight, but I don't know if I care about it as much. I probably do, right? I'll probably put in two Deadweights. I'll put in this. I'll put in the new ones, because they look cool. <clears throat> oh my god, Chad, your arena name is amazing, dude. That's fantastic. I saw it the other day, and I was like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. What's a Golgari Find Broker? Is that the 4-mana one? I worry about our ability to cast this thing. It also returns it to the hand, and it's a permanent, right? Yeah, I, I want to be able to get back like Assassin's Trophy. As far as permanents go, we just have Moldrotha, which is pretty much better, I think. It does loop with that. Yeah, that's true. But so does Moldrotha, right? Like, we get back a Moldrotha, then we can replay this, and then if the Moldrotha dies... Like, Moldrotha does the same thing. We'd have to cut three cards now, though, which is kind of worse. Do we, like, cut a Notion's Reign? I like Journey a lot. I really want to try the Journey. I put oh one more Hostage Taker over Vraska's Contempt because we have um, ways to reanimate it and like multiple ways. I also want to try Dream Eater. I like Multani because you can just put him in the graveyard and he comes back. Notion Rain I'm kind of iffy on. I can actually cut one because I don't have it. And maybe we can cut just like one of each of these. I might want to cut one journey. Do I like Vraska or am I just playing it because it's new? I mean, I like being able to sacrifice a permanent. Just sacrifice this guy, then replay it. I don't know. I don't know. I also like it that it's a Planeswalker, so I can get it back with Muldrotha. It's just another permanent. Concoct? Um, I don't think Concoct is better than Eldest Reborn. That's been my my experience. Like, we, we tried it yesterday, actually, and Eldest Reborn was actually just felt better. Yeah, there's a lot of sixes here. You're right. I mean, but we don't have any problems surveilling them or exploring them into the graveyard, right? Like, I mean, I don't care putting one of these in the graveyard. So, like, it's not like there's sixes that we're going to keep in our hand. I'm going to cut one of these. I'll add the Branch Walker back. And I'll cut the Vraska and add the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, I like that better. <clears throat> Alright, so now we need sideboard cards. Duress. What about a Bloodfast? Uh, probably not in the main deck. Like, because it's not going to die anyway, so, like, it doesn't really... I'll put one on the sideboard just for the, the control matchups, but it's not a card that's going to actually go to the graveyard, so I don't really care about getting it back. Whereas Deadweight's going to kill some dudes. <laughs> Why did I type fast fast? That's actually pretty funny. Huh. That's... I don't know why I did that. That's interesting. Give me some good give me some good Sultai sideboard cards, guys. Disdainful stroke. You do gotta go fast fast. That's true. If you're not first, you're last last. I'll add one of these to the sideboard. I like a Vraska's Contempt. Uh in the aggro matchup I worry Bloodfast might be a little too slow and then just playing a card that's not gonna actually turn on until you have less than five life is pretty rough. What's unmoored ego? Oh, is that like the Is that card any good? Really? I worry Golden Demise is gonna deal with a lot of our guys. 
I can play two of these. I like Ritual of Soot, but it kills most of our creatures, unfortunately. All right, maybe we'll put three of these in against the Teferi. Um, defenses? I don't know what... You guys are... You guys have to use full names. What... I mean, like, if you're talking about Blossoming Defense, that, that card is gone. I don't actually know what new defenses card there is. I don't think there is one. Thought Erasure? See, that's funny because this card strikes me as a card that's named Thought Erasure. <clears throat> well, that's not going to do it. That's not to get the old double A there. Are you guys just making up names here? What does this do? Target point raise her hand. She's an online player. Um... Maybe that's better. Maybe that's better than than Duress. Uh, Bronson on a Rex Sage, I felt like they were largely taken up by things like Assassin's Trophy and Vivian Reed. Like, you already have Vivian Reed to destroy artifacts and enchantments, and Assassin's Trophy kills everything. So, we actually have... And a Hostage Shaker can take artifacts. Um, and we have already Crushing Canopy as well. So, this deals with artifacts. This deals with enchantments. Um, so, I don't think there's that many artifacts and enchantments in the format even that that we have to deal with that uh, aggressively. And we have some life gain in these guys. I feel like this deck does everything I want, right? It has card advantage, it has versatile threats and creatures, it has some planeswalkers, it has resilience, it has great removal and assassin's trophy, Vraska and hostage taker. It has some life gain and some early creatures. Oh, I kind of like Plague Crafter. I think two Plague Crafter is actually pretty good. I might like Thought Erasure over... Um, two Plague Crafter seems good because we can reanimate it. And like if we sacrifice a Merfolk Branch Walker, that's a 2-1. Spyglass is good, but the, the problem with Spyglass is that the black, red... Or not, the, the black, blue, green decks have better ways to deal with the cards you'd, um, you'd deal with, right? <clears throat> So, like, if you're dealing with a Planeswalker, you can actually just Vraska's Contempt it, um, or Assassin's Trophy it. Uh, if you're dealing with, like, a land, you probably don't care that much. And you can actually Assassin's Trophy that as well. Alright, you guys are saying Thought Erasure is... I'll try four Thought Erasures. Alright, let's go trade for the cards that we don't have. And we'll buy the cards we do. Or don't. I don't know what that means. We could have also put Doom Whisper, but I'm not a huge Doom Whisper fan. Like, there just wasn't room for Doom Whisper. Does that make sense? You guys are going to laugh. It's going to be like, there's always room for Doom Whisper, you stupid idiot. Oh. Oh, let's get rid of the rarity. And this. Yep, cool. How much are you going? Three cents? Perfect. Plague Crafter. How much for this idiot? Less than three cents, I bet. One cent? Perfect. Fill it up. What else do we need? Uh, I do need Notion Rain. I might as well grab those all in here. Unmoored Ego. I wonder how much that's going for. Nope. Oh my god. Oof. 19 cents? Okay, that's fine. Um, Notion Rain. I think I have two notion rains. Yeah, that's fine. Fill it up. This is fine. Well, the good thing about Doom Whisper here is that we can find like a Muldrotha and just start putting them in the graveyard. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see, man. God, so good to see you, buddy. Need your big floaty, boy? So the problem with Doom Whisper is I don't think it's better than a lot of our other options. Oh, man, come on. All right. Like, ah, it might be better than Under Underrealm Lich, right? 
But Underrealm Lich does pretty similar thing, and it's harder to kill, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna try the Lich. You can't stop me. Um I'm trying to think what the Sphinx's name is without having to look. Dream Eater. Oh Dream Eater. Let's go. I only have 38 tickets, guys. I'm running low. I'm running low on tickets here. Yeah, I want to borrow the more expensive stuff. I just bought the cards that I don't. Because I think this guy's like five tickets or something. Four tickets. Yeah, I'm not going to just pay for that guy. I don't know if it's any good yet. Um, What are these going for? Oh, only nine. Actually, that's not terrible. These are probably worth picking up. I like buying things that I'll definitely keep for like modern or whatever, older formats, or that'll play a lot. Um, but if it's a card like Dream Eater that I might not ever play again, or, you know, an expensive card that's only good in standard, like Hazaret. Like, I wasn't spending 16 tickets on like Hazarets, and now they're down like 75 cents. Like, I'll try to conserve when I can in that way. But if I'm buying... <laughs> Neon Tokyo Rain, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. That will definitely help. And, uh, but like if I'm, if I'm, I, I borrow cards from GoatBots because they sponsor me, obviously. So if you're on Magic Online and you're looking for cards, hit up the GoatBots. Um, I'll borrow from them whenever I need anything because that's, that's part of my sponsorship. But, um, I don't like tying up their cards if I don't have to. So I'll definitely just buy the cards I need, like these, like whatever. And, um, You know, if it's an expensive card, I'll still buy it if, it's, if I'm going to play it. If it's going to last through Modern or whatever, I'll, I'll just pick it up because I'm going to use it anyway. And then I don't have to keep going in and out of trades. But if it's like a card that's probably only going to see play in Standard and I'm only going to play it for like one deck or something, um, I'll usually just borrow it and then give it back. Give it back! Alright, so let me save this guy. I will replace you. Okay. You guys ready? I'm going to upload this as well. So you guys can check the stream decker for the most up-to-date information. I will play first. Lately something's changed ain't hard to find. It's kind of All right. Should be good. Should be good. This will, what's going on here? Knocking off hair. Um, <sighs> this is rough. This is rough. We have a lot of green sources. How many green sources do we have? That's the question I'm gonna ask. I wanna find out. I'm gonna oh, I guess I could just look at Magic Online. I was like loading the Stream Decker page. I'm like, let me find out. I can just look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen green sources. How many blue sources? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And black we have four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, fourteen. Sixteen black sources. We have more black sources than that shouldn't be. The reason is because you don't have breeding pools. So we have to play watery graves over breeding pools. Which actually we probably just want to cut one swamp for one forest for sure. I'm going to mulligan. Yeah, this hand is better. Uh, you can go. This is another situation. There's been so many mulligan situations in the standard format so far where I'm like, man, I wish the was the scry rule was a surveil rule instead. Like, if you mulligan, you can surveil one, and then you can put the card in your graveyard. Because, my god, that would be so broken. Being able to just put this on any guy, right? It's really good, because when a chain of creature dies, return to the battlefield under your control. So, like, if they ever kill this, I mean... It's scary now because they could lightning strike it. Do we just two for one ourselves? I don't think so. We have nothing to do next turn, essentially, so we can do it next turn and not really worry about it. Okay. Okay. I accept.
Yeah, actually, I think we can go with two basics. We don't really need that many basics, right? Like, like this isn't like Blood Moon in the format. It's not like I have to worry about that nonsense. Actually, kind of like that because we can keep up Vraska's Contempt, but I don't think that's going to be a concern. Like, they're not going to play a four mana Planeswalker. And I doubt they're going to play a four-minute creature that isn't like a crackling drake. Has Monarch gotten more or less interest since it became so diverse? Um, when did it become, like when? When specifically are you referring to? I feel like it's always been pretty diverse. These are some radical ideas you have. Radical ideas, Club Kappa. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's fine. So now we are going to journey to eternity. Oh my god. See, now I wish I kept this. Now, See, now I just feel silly. You get a land. That's pretty cool. But I don't even care. Land hair, don't care. They could bounce this guy, which is pretty rough, but it is what it is. In the last few months, has there been more diversity in the last few months? I feel like there's been, like, new decks coming out, but I don't know if it's been necessarily more diverse. Four four, and then we maximize velocity on this guy. So fast, so quick. Hmm, this guy can be countered. I'm actually tempted to just do this now. Surveilling four seems pretty strong. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, um, graveyard, graveyard. Put you on top and put you on top. Yeah, use that ability. Use yeah, you use that ability. Well, that's unfortunate. Why would you do this? I thought we were friends. Till the end. Friends till the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy's not blocking. And if you want to block him, I'm fine with that. Where'd my explore guys at? Yeah, I'm an MTGO purist. Warlord's Fury. Okay, he got first strike. I don't think you can ten us. I don't think there's like a team or battle rage that gives us trample. And, and by ten us, I mean 16 us, but with the extra tormenting voice. Discard Arclight Phoenix. Uh oh. That guy's coming back. Ooh, uh oh. So they're tenning us now, but I don't think they can 16 us, is what I meant to say. Have you got to play with the surveillance enchantment yet? How did my blue? No, not yet. It almost seems like overkill, but so this is nine, 10, 11, 12. We go to four. We can get rid of this guy. We're gonna draw the underworld lich, unfortunately. Discard a card. I wanna be exploring right now. Yeah, we have to do this. One, two, three, four. So we're going to three, and if they have any way to kill us here, a second arc like Phoenix, the lightning strike, then we die.
keeping under Rumlich on top was not ideal in this situation, but they also only didn't, they didn't have 3,000 power on board at the time. They can also play like, okay. Okay. Are we dead? They only hit one lightning strike. I feel like we're dead. It's not a lightning strike. Oh, what are we getting back? Electromancer, Enigma Drake. Let's get back Dream Eater. Oh, this is during oh, this is during the main phase, so we've already drawn. That's so sad. Um, okay. So, two, three, four, five, six. We can play this. We can't. Wild Growth Walker will gain us some life. We can put Branch Walker on top. So, I th theoretically, we can put Wild Growth Walker and Branch Walker on top. We can Notion Rain if we if we can stay at one. We can Notion, or if we if we can stay at three rather, we can Notion Rain into these two. Play this guy, gain six from the Branch Walker. Either way, this is going in the graveyard. See, the problem is if we don't, if we actually go to two or less, if we take any damage at all, then no Shrine is really bad. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to put you on top for now. I'm going to bounce this because it's just... I mean, it has haste, but they have to commit four mana to it. And bouncing this guy doesn't matter because we're going to have two ground guys. And now I'm just going to pass. Yikes. Yikes. This deck looks pretty sweet. Alright, that's one. I mean, they just have to draw a lightning strike at some point, right? Gain the trample. You got it. All these cards cycle, which is insane. Radical. So they're definitely bring. Oh, they have two phoenixes. All right, that should be the game. That will do. All right. Okay, good to know, good to know. I wanna hit draw a card, but as soon as I do, it'll reveal my hand. I don't have a hand, I guess, so I guess that doesn't really matter. There's no cards in here. What if I unmoored Ego for Arclight Phoenix? That seems pretty good, right? That's exciting. These seem good. Um, Eldest Reborn seems a little slow. Under Realm Lich seems a little slow, even. Bring in Unmoored. I also like Vraska's Contempt because it gets rid of the the bird boy. We can take out Multani has Reach, which makes it pretty ridiculous. Let's take out a Hostage Taker. They don't have a tremendous amount of creatures, but the ones they do have, we want to be able to Vraska's Contempt so they can't Lightning Strike or Hostage Taker and just get them back. All right. I will 
we'll play first. Well, there's only one Vraska's Contempt in the sideboard, so. Eh, we'll keep this. Oh, we don't actually have a green. Yeah, we're definitely changing. We, ch we changed the mana base already, so. Any green land, and I'm good to go. G2G. That's not it. Yep. Oh boy. This mana base is not ideal. I meant in main. So well, there's no such thing as a main board. That's not a that's not a term. But uh, also we're playing Moldrotha, so it's better to have hostage takers because you can recast them from the graveyard and you can't recast uh Vraska's contempts. There we go. I'll take two. Yeah, we're ready to fix the mana base. So, uh, I will keep that on top, actually. I'm a fan. This is a good choice. Whoever said Unmoored Ego is... Just so they knew Craig was going my hate I swear that man has person personified joy in his heart. Yeah, Craig is great. Craig is a good dude. So this is one, two, no, this is just two spells, yeah. Okay, so they're just gonna get back an arc like Phoenix, sure. Well, I'm gonna unmoor Ego that dude. So, it's always gonna be drowned. We're gonna go one, two, three. And it's only three mana? Oh man, this card's bonkers. Arc. Let's see what you got. None in hand. Oh, you do have Crackling Drakes too. That's interesting. Well, let's make sure we get them all. I don't know if it's going to remember your hand, so I will save it for funsies. Okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. Uh, I think that's all three. Does it say three selected? I have no idea. I really don't want to only take two. Okay, that one's highlighted, and that one's highlighted. Okay, we did it. Can't take the one on the board. Seems good. So your hand is Maximum Velocity, Lava Coil, two Drakes, and a Charter Course. Okay. Well, Drake seems pretty insane here. Yeah, that's a big dude. So Maximize Velocity... Oh my god, this deck is nuts, dude. We'll keep that one up. One, two... Three, four. We are at seven right now. And we have a second Drake. And a Lava Coil and a Sulphur Falls. We played the Sulphur Falls. There's the second Drake. Oh, they took two. Lava Coil, my guy. Or just maximum velocity. Wow. Second. Oh, it's got it's got oh wow. Yeah, we're just dead. I didn't I didn't realize it was a jump start, so. That's my bad. Okay. So uh we made some changes to the sideboard already. There's no extra green dual lands, right? There's hinterland, woodland, overgrown, and breeding pool, but we don't have breeding pools. And we're not using any of the like tap lands. So I guess we just have to go higher on forests. This leaves us with four, eight. 12, 16 green sources, which is much better. And then we have 1, 2, 6, 7, 11 blue sources, which is fine. And black, we have 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. 15 black sources. Why are the black sources so much higher than the blue? Because we have double... Because we have overgrowns and woodlands, whereas we just have hinterlands for, for blue. Okay. Uh, no breeding pool, that's correct. Because that's not legal. Do we want a guild gate? No. Not even a little bit. I don't want any lands that oh, come into play tapped. 
especially when you have this a deck like this you just don't need it it's just not necessary all right so man unmoored ego was great except they had double crackling drake which we didn't see a single one in in the um in the first match so that's rough that deck seems insane though i'm impressed Oh, if I said breeding pool, I probably meant something else. I meant we didn't have breeding pools. Um, I don't really think anything needs to be changed. What is, is if this guy was a Doom Whisperer? Is it just better? Maybe. I mean, there's definitely a reason Doom Whisperer is a more expensive card, right? Uh, I'll put Doom Whisperer in and see if that's any better. I think two is good. Also, weird thing, but if you guys ever have any like Ravnica cards or standard cards that you're not using or you just want to get rid of them, uh, I will definitely use them. So I only sell extra stuff, so I wouldn't be selling anything you guys donated or wanted to contribute to the stream so I don't have to like go in and out of trades and stuff, but All right, let's see what happens with these guys. Doom is the biggest boy in the format. You know, like you, Doom. <laughs> ah, good times. Good times, guys. Is Bells and Lock good? I think Bells and Lock is good. Um, I actually wanted to put Bells and Lock in the deck, but then we 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 aired on the side of like Moldratha and Dream Eater because I wanted to try Dream Eater out. Dream Eater was good when we had it. Actually, I was okay with it. Maybe Bells and Lock is better, though. A 6-6 six, six versus a 4-3. They're just bigger creatures, right? Like 2-6-6. 6-6 six, six. Six, six on 5. 6-6 six, six on 6. Um, but, I mean, that being said, I do like Bells and Lock a lot. And I think the value might be better. But obviously, this deck was a uh, new standard Guilds of Ravnica guild. Uh, new not guild build <laughs> so we were trying I'm just trying to see what does and doesn't work or what is and isn't good really really with this hand all right well again really with this hand all right we'll go to five okay this is a great five you can go on the bottom well I'll be a biscuit that's actually good. All right, so we can go turn two, Merfolk, into turn three, take four damage, Notion Rain. Wow, it's like modern. Guildgate. Intriguing. Uh, are you always going to want to have Doom Whisperer over? But I don't think you're going to always want to, but also at the same time, like, um, you don't have to choose one or the other, though, you know? Like, they're two different bros they they fit on the, on the curve at different points so oh that was good now we can notion rain without hurting ourselves stop hitting yourself golgari guildgate interesting into double lana or elf or triple lana or elf okay and the reason i don't think, think i don't like cards like ritual of soot is just because um wow i i could really see negative one negative one being great here is because it kills all of our creatures. Oh, that was a good draw. I almost like that better than Notion Rain. Um, yeah, I'll just put this guy on top twice. 
Don't really want to attack into one of your elves. They have two cards in hand. We have a removal spell and a doom whisper on top. I'm okay with that. If we play both of them, can we just jam two more demons? And I was thinking that same thing, actually. As soon as I was like, doom whisper and bells and lock, huh? Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Do you just kill this? Yeah, okay. That's fine. That is a turn four Vraska. It's more like modern every day. If this got the counter, we could have actually killed this and went in for Vraska and then just got two things out of it, but... So we have green, 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 black, and blue. We'll just play this. Assassin's Trophy definitely doing work. I honestly think Bony Pony is a pretty... I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what Bony Pony is. I don't think that's any sort of... Oh, wow. Golgari Feinberger getting back Vraska's Relic? What is this deck? Or Vraska's Vraska herself? Wait, they didn't get back Vraska? They just got back... Jade Light Ranger? I... I might have gone for the Vraska myself. Okay, so they kept Assassin's Trophy on top. Seems good. Especially because we have a Doom Whisper here. Plague Mare? Why is that Bony Pony? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, they're just going to untap Assassin's Trophy, our Doom Whisper, and attack us for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we're going to be taking 2 from this guy. It's pretty bad. I mean, Notion Rain, we're also going to be having the same problem. I think this is better because we can try to find a two drop. Because it's black and it's a horse. Okay, so wait, wait. Being black and a horse... Being a horse makes sense why you call it pony, but the black part has no relevance to bony or pony. So that actually does... That, that part doesn't make any sense. That can't be a justification for why you call it bony pony because... Something trying to this feel the pain. Notion rain. It's a skeletal horse? Is it? I don't think so. I think it's got all its skin. I literally went to look up Bony Pony. <laughs> I'm like, Bony Pony. No, this is not a this is not a skeletal horse. This is just a nightmare horse. No nah, man. This is just a regular night this is just a regular horse. This has no this this it's a it might not even have a skeleton. Like it's a nightmare horse. It's a horse with with a skeleton. Isn't that all skeletons? Or isn't that all horses? So it could be a breathing pony. It could be a, a hair pony. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So we take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put you in the trash can. I'll keep the Vraska's Contempt. And put it on top. Put on top. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to take a lot here. We're going to take ten. We're going to go to eight. Scare Mare is probably better than Bony Pony. That is much better than... Oh, my God. So, we know the last card in their hand is Assassin's Trophy. These guys are doing work in this Golgari deck. Stop trying to walk it back. Just take the loss on Bony Pony, man. Okay, I agree. Let's forget I ever said... I'm like... If I can't immediately know what you're referring to when you say Bony Pony, I feel like it's not... It's not ideal. I wish I had one more land, and then we can actually take this and cast it with Hostage Taker. God, we know you have the stupid idiot, though. <sighs> six mana, six mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get go to two. I 
I just like rhymes and ponies. Do you though? Do you? The problem is if we cast any of these other cards, we lose. We can hostage take or steal a land or elf. It seems bad. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. I'm not thrilled with this game. We know they have Assassin's Trophy and Vraska in hand, so uh, it's not really a great position for us. Um, we also drew very poorly that game. Uh, Disdainful Strokes actually seems great here. What cards are we not excited about so far? Vivian Reed seems pretty meh in this matchup. Bring the other Vraska's Contempt. Take out. I don't want to take out Dead Weights. Uh, Eldest Reborn seems pretty bad. They have a million guys to sacrifice. MTG bots in the chat. That's interesting. No find finality. I don't know what that is, but it's probably not good, right? Um, I don't think that card's great. I will play first. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Oh no, I had a thing. It doesn't pop when I search it. Empty Geobot is definitely in the chat. It's right at the top. Unless he left, why would you leave? We're gonna play this. I don't know. We're drawing pretty poorly. Like, we have like 12 2 drops and a bunch of 3 drops, and we're just not hitting many of them. Find Finality might be great in the, in like the Golgari deck. The straight Gol. What? What in the earth, dude? That seems good. Just gotta keep up Vraska's Contempt. Maybe block the Glow Spore Shaman and Contempt the Merfolk Branch Walker. We have a lot of removal here, but not a lot of not a lot of creatures. Like, I'm tempted to just get off the explore plan. Like, this guy just seems fine when you have four Merfolk Branch Walker and four Jade Light Ranger, and those cards seem good in general. But I don't know what two and three drop creatures would actually be better in the deck. This card actually does seem really obnoxious. I'm surprised. This might be better than... This might be better than Hostage Taker, to be quite honest. I also think the opponent's Sultai plan has been better. The problem is we, we didn't want to focus on Llanowar Elves too heavily because they're just... We, we have a bunch of different uh, requirements. But... I guess we have to. Turn two Banefire Llanowar Elves is my signature. <laughs> it's, 
That's a good one to have. Oh, wow. All right. Yikes. Maybe another search for Azkanta is the ticket. Um, yeah, put that dude in the graveyard. Draw land. Ocean rain. Okay, I can deal with that. So let's go one, two, three. No. Uh, dead weight seems pretty okay, I think. I got sort of one elf. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. Not ideal, but I actually haven't seen a single blue mana from their entire deck yet, which is very interesting. Well, that's just rude. Black, 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 black. Green, 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 green. Blue, 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 blue. Something kind of must feel the pink chocolate rain. Yikes. All right, so we definitely want some kind of... This is the deck I've actually seen going around, I think. We definitely want some sort of... Uh, Neg one, neg one to all creatures, right? Well, we gave, we didn't, we, we didn't, we, yeah, we still killed the elf because if you don't kill the elf, they have two lands, so. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. One, two, three, four. Let's cast you. Uh, green. Let's get nothing great here. Probably search for Azkanta is the best thing we can get back. It said they disconnected, but apparently they're not disconnected? I don't know. Is Plague Mare just their creatures? Because that seems pretty good in the sideboard. Finality could be good. I just don't... Six mana is a lot. It's neg four, neg four, right? It's just basically languish. So 
Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Uh, fine broken can only get back permanence. So. Oh, you're sa oh you're explaining why it can't. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, I don't like Ritual of Soak because it kills. We, I thought I went over this like three times. Ritual of Soak kills all of our creatures. It kills almost every creature in the deck. It kills Wild Growth Walker. It kills Jade Light Ranger. It kills uh, Merfolk Branch Walker. Like, I mean, if we're playing that, we might as well just change all our creatures because it's gonna. It might as well be Damnation at that point. I wonder if our opponent's coming back. Did they get too did they get too mad at the did they get too salty at the salt eye? I mean one of the biggest problems is that I we haven't had a wild growth walker followed by an explore creature once. Um we've had either wild growth walker with no Merfolk branch walkers or no Jade Light Rangers, or we've just had like one of those guys and no one else. No one else? Yeah, that makes sense. That's those were good words. I have the best words. Some stay dry while I must feel the pain. Chocolate rain. I think they came back. All right, they did it. They're probably blazing it. Get back. Yep, that's pretty good. Hey, look, we found one. One, two, three, four, one, two. We are we can probably play you and see what happens. If we get one land, it's fine because we can play both of these. Keep on top, I'll keep on top. That's pretty good, we'll keep it on top. Alright, so we know the one card in your hand is Disdainful Strokeable. Yeah, that's pretty okay. You got it. Oh, it goes on top. It doesn't actually go in our hand. What's wrong with me today? That's weird. Uh, yeah, now I want to put it in the graveyard. Now I feel stupid. <laughs> it's another one. Why did I get so excited? I was like, I thought we were going to draw it for some reason. Man, what a dummy. No one said anything, so that's good. Man, I was just like, oh, put it on top so that it goes in our hand. What was I thinking of? Oh, I was thinking Notion Rain. Oh, man, look at two cards and then like... Oh, I totally got Jade Light Ranger confused with Notion Rain. That's stupid. Magic's hard. The first match is always the roughest, guys. This is the second match. Oh, so bad. Are we dead? We block three. We take seven. Yeah, that's actually fine. And we can activate this. Yeah. They have no cards in hand. Seems good. Oh, no attacks. Well, this could be good. I like to see you branching a new color comment. Hey, I just played Grixis yesterday. Oh, no hits. All right. Well, that's sad. Those also weren't super exciting, so. Uh, 
Um, I will actually put this on top. Put it on top. Put it on top. Can we? Is this non-land? Oh, that's nice. So we can actually you can activate this and play it. That's interesting. I think we want to keep up Disdainful Stroke, though. We can just draw it at the end of the turn. Yeah, if they draw, like, Vraska. We're trying to avoid Golgari, Golgari Feinbroker, Vraska, Moldrotha, or... Um, um, Izoni? Zamboni? I mean, if you didn't attack last turn, that's so weird. I had less creatures last turn, so... I'm intrigued. Block you, block you, block you, and block you. I guess we take three here. That seems good for us. Well, draw the Dream Eater, Doom Whisper. Wow, the uh, the triple mythic trifecta there. Land. Yeah. Like you do. One, two, three. Just gonna keep passing until we find something good. Oh, also the Vraska was nice in the deck because you could sacrifice your own hostage taker. Also, this deck needs Vraska. Vraska seems super relevant. Vraska seems good. They have seven guys we have, like, uh, this does not seem like a profitable attack. We'll take three and then they'll lose four guys. Disdainful Stroke feels very safe now. So, while it was a mistake to, to put it on top earlier, I am glad I picked this up. I'll be attending for release tomorrow. Do you have any tips for the sealed? Any deceptively good cards? I'm not sure, actually. Um, Demir is very, very good. And Surveil is a very, very strong mechanic in the limited format. We playing Constructed? Yes, yes, we are playing Constructed. Is that a Marathon Man reference, Pernicious Dude? That is... That is real deep, dude. What's going on, J. Jack Jr.? I don't know what's going on. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the delay here. Even though I'm not responsible for it. Getting real tired here, guys. Getting real tired. I think I'm going to take a nap. Put it on top. Put it on top. 
Everybody's gonna try to put it on top. With all the walkers and guilds being on Team Bolas, I'm hoping all walkers next to will be opposed. Oh, all the walkers are gonna be Team Bolas? Ral Zarek is Team Bolas? That's interesting. So is Vraska? I didn't know this. Are they just are they villains in the story or are they actually on Team Bolas? Which is I don't know if there's a distinction there. I imagine there is. You guys, uh, you guys come here often? Frasco's promised control of the Golgari by Bolas and Ral is just a silly boy. <laughs> okay. Maybe he has problems deciding what to cast. Well, they only have one card in hand, so it can't be that confusing. Put it on top. Also, if I extract their Izonis... I feel like it's good. Like if we play unnatural, unmoored ego, and we're like Izoni, that feels good. Okay, they didn't do anything. That was a that was a tough decision. We had to uh, had to figure it all out. Let's get this notion rain. Um, bottom, bottom, bottom. Some stay dry while others they feel the pain. We have to have some six drops here, right? Gravy. Actually, maybe we just play this guy and then play this guy. One, two, three, one, two. Still keep up. I'll put you on top and you in the bottom. One, two. Wild growth walkie. I got one, two, three. Explore Oon. Branch Walker. I'll put Branch Walker on top. Go up to 13. Put a bunch of dudes on the board. Seems good. Let's get in there with this hostage taker. Hostage taker. What's up, Sarah? Good seeing you, buddy. Always a pleasure. Cheese Wisp, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. You are the Cheese Wisp this, this chat needs. But not the one we deserve. Oh, all whiffs. So you... Actually, put the first one. The first one's going to go on the bottom first, right? I always get that confused. Hostage taker. We can hostage taker into this Golgari find broker again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's a lot of mana. One, two, three, four. Let's just do that. You encounter this? Assassin's Trophy, that. All right, I'll just add one. Let's go get a land. It's our last basic in the deck. Can I just get it back with, uh... <laughs> can I just steal this and get it back? Alright. Alright, pay the mana. Come on. Oh, what? I had it in the pool! Come on, dude. Whatever. This is the best option anyway. B. Aggressive. B. E. Aggressive. No blocks, huh? Okay. They're at two. We have three blockers, so they can deal us three unless they, like, overrun, and then we disdainful stroke. Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're bringing in the unmoored egos. 
I don't think Journey's good enough. It makes me sad, but I don't think so. It's just rarely... I don't think it's flippable. So we're going to take out the Journey. Are these just better as Bells and Locks and Vraskas? I don't know. I thought this was Plague Mare for a second. Wrong Plague. And I got real excited. That's sad. Soap and water. Uh, Stample Stroke is good. <laughs> Hostage Taker was very good. Uh, we can flip a Plague Cracker, but that's kind of narrow. Don't you mean Bony Pony? <laughs> you know, I do. I do mean Bony Pony. That's a good point. God, two cuts. Everything seems good. Notion Rain, maybe? That was game two. It's 1-1. One, one. This hand seems great. I will keep it. We can go Overgrown Tomb into all the things. Into Hinterland Harbies. Actually, we have double Watery Grave. We'll Watery Grave first because it'll let us get two of every color. Two, two, two. All right, now we have a lot of Shockies. Shockies! Wild Growth Walker. Wild Growth Walker. Oh, shocks. This is a lot of land in hand. It always is, isn't it? You hold six land, two cards. Isn't that cute? She's staying on top? Okay. Oh, that's a Multani. I drew a free card, and now we get to trade. That's great. Just so good. I'll trade with you. I'll stop the world and trade with you. Oh, that's a good one, but it's doing nothing in our hand. We'll play it next turn. Yes, that's true. I'll play this Vraska and Vraska too. I have a thing to get rid of that thing. Did they not even plus it? It's May. That's weird. That's that's no good. Come on, buddy. Don't be like that. We could just play Vraska or a hostage taker and like what are their options like that's why it's a may ability because you may not have things but you still want to plus it like going up to six for Vraska is pretty huge having missed that is not ideal no dog I'm good I only need four sure that seems fine well that's just fine I guess I'll add a green. It seems a little more conducive to casting this gentleman. Well, I got this Multani next turn. That's pretty good. Two Varaskas. Seems good. Oh, look at this combo. C -c 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 combo. Connect into the leg bone. Uh, attack Relic Seeker. Boy, if only Hostage Taker. Yeah, like, I maybe we just trade. We change the Multani. Yeah, we're just going to actually go a little harder on uh, 
Because if we don't play Multani, we actually have a better reason to play four of Raska's Contempt, which I think is just better. It's a better card. In this deck, Hostage Taker has, a more, has more synergy with Muldrotha, which we haven't been able to cast yet. However, Raska's Contempt is just stronger, and it would, it would leave us with answers to both of these. <laughs> so... I still have yet to see a single green, uh, blue mana in the deck that would let them cast Muldrotha. Just kill Multani. Mm hmm. Yeah, seems fine. I have five cards in hand. Good lord. So, what we're going to do. We'll take out. Muldrotha, which means we can take out Multani. Uh, we can add two of these. Take out the Hostage Takers. What other four drops are very, very good? We can still keep the Explorer theme, but Deadweight's not as good without... Yep, this is all fine. What does this emblem do? Whenever a creature you control die, deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Alright, well, let's get rid of that, I guess. One, two, three, four for this. Steal this. Play something else. Yeah, all right. We're going to do all that. Old means a difference, and it's getting better all the time. There's nothing you and I won't do. Do we risk them having Assassin's Trophy? I think so. Yeah, that seems good. What interacting with emblems is uh It seems like a good way to go because like It's just, it's usually game over on the spot, which I mean is fine. It takes a lot of work to get an emblem, but. District Guide. Okay. Are we winning this game? I can't tell. I mean, this thing is huge. Oh, God. Hatchery Spider. Hmm. Getting that guy. Wouldn't you just get Izoni here? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. We don't have enough to get both of to, to get this and replay it, unfortunately. We don't have seven, eight, eleven mana. Do you not have six creatures? You have to have six creatures, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you have a million creatures. I would have just gotten Izoni, right? What did they get back in their hand? Returns Vivian Reed, sure. One, two, three, four, one, two. We can actually play both of these guys. We can hostage taker this guy to get back Multani. It's de oh, it's deck. It's not your graveyard. Okay. That makes more sense. I thought it was cards. I thought it was find something in your graveyard. Yeah, that makes sense. We could still hostage taker this guy and attack. I don't think we care about this, though. I think I'd rather just get the value off of this guy now before they... Um, what are we getting here? Multani, probably? Yeah, Multani seems huge. Attack all into Veraska. So she'll go to two. And what do we know they have in hand? Vivian Reed? Big Vivs? Okay. Finally got back into cell phone internet range. <laughs> oh man. Technology, am I right? Sc 
Emerson, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. La 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 la. La 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 la. La la la. I'm a cam. I'm a cam dresser. So yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine mana multi. This is a nine nine multani with reach and trample. Oh, we also have lands in the graveyards are relevant too. Oh, that's crazy. going on here I think we're gonna win this game on time alone like Vivian's good but Noble Phoenix have a good night buddy enjoy your pre-release but excuse me what does this mean what are you saying right here whenever a creature you control oh oh this is great this has your active yields on it oh that's sick oh this is this is also sick Yikes. Well, they have to win in two minutes, so. Did you hear Alexa? Eight mana. We could play Doom Whisper and then just go deep on the on the scrying. It's not scry, it's just Surveil, stupid. This guy has reach, though. We're going to play you. Disdainful stroke would be very, very nice here. Here at six. Hello, Robert, my old friend. I've come to watch you stream again. Because you're playing black and blue creatures. But you're also playing green creatures. They're a part of the Sultai clan. Oh, Lucian's donate with 19 months in a row. My god. You're like... The hero we need. Are you just casting another one of these, dude? This is a cast trigger? That's weird. Did they get an elf? Oh, they put Muldroth into play. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, you got to win in a minute and 29 seconds. So I wish you luck here. The sound of Sultai. When it was about to pray. From the black, blue, and green god they made. 19 months. Man, that's longer than you've been in a relationship. I'm basically your asteroid of Twitch. Alright, they have a minute and three seconds. Can we can we win this game? Is that a thing we can do? Dead weight. Dead weight. If only we had. Oh man, if we had a Moldrotha of our own, we can go dead weight, dead weight, dead weight, dead weight, dead weight, dead weight. They can't emblem yet. McGimp, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Eat more candy? What does that even mean? What are you trying to say, buddy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm just going to attack their their Vraska with this guy. It means eat more can I guess that's true. It was kind of straightforward. I guess I'm, I'm maybe I'm thinking into it too much. Sure. <laughs> 
Well, I think we've just won. 12 seconds left on the clock. This guy pauses a lot. wonder what's going on over there. I also wonder... Izoni seems pretty gas. I wonder if we could play like two Golgari Frying Brokers just to get back. I mean, if you think about Regrowth being two mana, you're essentially paying two more mana for a 3-4 body. Okay, all right. So, let's say Find Broker. What if we put... Oh, I don't actually have one of them. All right, well, we're going to... We're gonna get get busy get busy trading. Really? Give me them find brokers. We could play Null High Ferox. I zoni, no you zoni. Got him. Alright, let's go. I wonder what Izoni's going for. Probably less than a dollar, right? I feel like these are worth picking up. Six cents? I'll grab all four. Find broker. Grab those. Spore thing. Really? Nothing with spore? What's the three one? Why can't I look up rarities? Uncommon. Guilds. The three one, this thing. Glow spore. It has the word spore in the title. Why didn't it show up? Sure. Um What was the other card I wanted? Plague Mare? Do we have that dude? Thank you. Pretty sure I have a ton of plague mares. I think it's actually two words. Yeah, I have a bunch of plague mares. Okay, this should be good. Oh, actually, finality. <sighs> da, 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 da. Let's go to the uncommon tag. Oh no! Oh, sixty-four cents, huh? Whatever, I'll take two. Two should be good. Everyone in chat wanted to shake your hand and maybe give you a chest, but what are you saying right now? What are you talking about? Filth Eater, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right. What are you even saying, Rob? Robert. Uh, bells. We have, we've seen Dream Eaters in match one. Um... I really want a mana thing, but I don't want Llanowar Elves because I don't want to have to have an untapped green source on turn one because we're Sultai, we're not we're not green black. What are we playing the blue for? Just these right now, right? Is that good enough? Like we can just we can double up on bells and locks for this. What's good with what's a good replacement for Notion Rain? But then we just become the Then we just become the Golgari deck, and I don't really like that. Oh, what about Thief of Sanity? That seems better than Notion Rain, right? See, and then I gotta go back to the trade. This is why I just buy these cards, because I'm like, I'd rather just have them, man. Man, Goat Bots is... They should have a dedicated, a dedicated Goat Bot. For just for us. I assume this is going to be like less than 50 cents. $0.95? Cents? Yeah, but we're taking out the Hostage Shakers anyway for um, Vraska's Contempt. I like having... 
Or just look at the top three cards of that player's library, exile one of them face down, then put the rest in their grave. You may look at them, cast that card as long as it remains exiled. And this card's insane. This is just like a I watched your dream, you said that you like movie reviews and how critics do a good how do a good, so I wonder what you think about the last Disney Star Wars since after the first movie they had phenomenal criticism. So here's the thing. I think anyone can like any movie at all. I, but I think words have meaning, right? Um, so if you say, like, I think this is a really good movie, I thought it was excellent, um, that's just not factual. If you say, I th- I liked this movie, I enjoyed it, I had a good time, that's factual. That's You can do that, right? And I think critics do a good job of cutting through the garbage. And uh, they, they're critical. Like, that's literally their job, is being critical. So you get to say, like, okay, from from a a critical metric, right? Like, you know, directing, storytelling, um, humor, whatever, whatever metric you want to use for gauging the quality of a film or a work of art, like a book. Um, critics look at it through that lens, right? However, if you're a Marvel fan, if you're a Star Wars fan, and you go to see a Star Wars movie that got cri- that, that was critically panned, you can still enjoy it. You can still say, I enjoyed this movie. I liked seeing the characters on the screen. I liked their interactions. I liked the lines. You can do that. Opinions are not facts. Of course I'm saying that. But I'm also legitimizing movie critics in the sense that they are looking at a movie through a critical lens, and rightfully so. So if you value things like storytelling, if you value things like plot cohesion, if you value things like narrative arc, they are going to address those things in the reviews. And if you value those... Take your reviews seriously. Take, take reviewers' words. Like, take it seriously. However, if you just want to go and say, I'm going to disregard this and enjoy the movie for what it is, which is totally fine, then go do that. I mean, that's totally fine, too. But to say that, like, a movie is good when, like, by any standard of, of, of evaluation, it's it's not, you know? Like, that's what I take issue with, I think. I don't know if that answered the question, but... Like, and so, so Transformers movies, by film metrics, by criti- critical metrics, are not better than Citizen Kane, right? By, by any means. However, you can say, I like Transformers movies more than Citizen Kane. That's a completely reasonable thing to do. I think words have meaning. And people, people um, don't often, and like, as someone, I have an English degree. I've, I was an editor for a long time. I've written things for the past 10 years for a living, you know? So I take, I take words pretty seriously. And I think using correct words, like using the words you want, uh, is important. What about this? Quad quad Thief of Sanity sanity deck. I like this. This seems good. Uh, I'll take out Plague Crafter and I'll bring in Plague Mayor. Because we do have four Vraska's Contempts. And she can't get rid of Planeswalkers, though. Actually, I'm going to take the Bloodfast out and bring another Plague Mare as well. Oh, we actually... What are we missing from the sideboard? Did I take something else out? That I did not mean to do? So hopefully my my movie... Uh, Movies are not created to entertain. They're created to they're created for multiple purposes. Movies are created to educate. Movies are created to be presented as works of art. Movies are created to uh, to to stimulate emotion. Saying movies are created solely to entertain is um, uh, I think that's underselling it. Oh, we put we took one Vraska's contempt to put it in the main deck, and we took out the blood fast, and we took out two. Uh, Plague Crafters, and we added three of these, so we're one shy on something. Okay. What cards are you looking for for standard? Pretty much any playables. Just whatever. Uh, what are some movies that you recognize are bad, poorly made, but you enjoyed anyway? Um, that's a good question. Barman, you can definitely donate ticks to me, 100%. I, I, I never turn on ticks because they're only the only thing I use them for is streaming. I rarely play Magic Online when I'm not streaming. So if you guys donate ticks or cards to me, um, you're they're going to get used while I play. Um, God, that's a good question. 
there's definitely a movie like movies that I like Man of Steel, right? Like the DC movie Man of Steel. I actually really liked Man of Steel, and I think it wasn't. I, I know it wasn't a good movie. I know there's plot holes. I know there's issues with it. I enjoyed seeing Superman on the big screen, and I think. Um, God, Henry, uh, Henry Cavill was a good Superman, so you know that's like that's a movie. Like, but I, but if someone's like, this is you know this is not a good film, I'll be like, you're right. I can't argue with that. So Starship, there's a difference. So so Starship Trooper wasn't wasn't poorly made. Um, it was the thing is Starship Troopers doesn't take itself seriously, right? So that falls into like a campy category. Um, Barman, you're awesome. Thank you, buddy. So it falls into like this campy category where it's self aware, like it has a self awareness. Uh, this is Spinal Tap is actually not a bad movie though. This is Spinal Tap is actually, as far as I know, uh, pretty insanely well received through the the cinematic community this is spinal tap as a 95 on rotten tomatoes and a four out of four out of from roger Ebert. that is not a bad movie at all uh this is spinal tap is a historical a historical comic mo comedy movie all right let's get in there with these this thief of night What do I think about the last Star Wars movie? I enjoyed it, right? But that's that's not to say I'm not saying I thought it was a great movie. The last Star Wars movie was a great movie. Like I'm not saying that. I'm saying I enjoyed it. And the reason main deck duress? No. <laughs> get out of here. Matthew, where did you get teeth pulled today, buddy? Chocolate rain. See, Mallrats was another movie that I really liked. But again, it's definitely not one of Kevin Smith's best movies. So, you know. I will play first. I will mulligan my hand. We might actually want a fifth, a twenty-fifth land in the deck. We do have like a bunch of Millie boys, Explorey boys, like that guy. Oh, this is actually great. If we can hit a second green, God, these green lands are just giving us so many problems here. The director of Starship Troopers literally said he only read the first two chapters of the book, then got bored and asked someone to summarize it for him. Hence, why that's interesting. I've never read. I've always. I've never read the book. Um, but that's pretty funny. Chocolate rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. All right, so looks like all the lands are coming to play tapped. We do need an untapped green source. They made a book out of the movie. Mister Ten Dollar Bill, thanks so much for three months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Joke's on you. Now you've subscribed for Mr. $15 bill. <laughs> There's no such thing as $15 bill. I've lied. Oh, man. We're so good at this game. This is this is going to get countered, but, you know, it's okay. McGimp. What are, you, what are you trading here, buddy? Mike, I love that you're like, I'm going to open this trade while he's in the middle of this match. Risk factor. I'll take four. Have risk factor? Yes. Deal four to me. Because I'm going to gain six. So, yep, and draw two. Seems good. What do we got here? What are you doing, Mike? What am I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, what am I taking here? I'm back to work. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what's good here. Uh, oh, I do need these, actually. Don't I? No, I don't. Actually, I got those. Dang it. Mike, let me look at this in a little bit. Let me, I'll come back to you.
I love love taking four for risk factor and gaining six for Jade Light Ranger. Also, Mike, I love you, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the the offer either way. Just take what you want. Take it what you want. Take what you want to. Take a room away. We have a second Jade Light Ranger. Man. Counterburn seems pretty bad when you got this guy. Uh, the only thing we can actually play here is JD. These are both six drops that we can play next turn. So if you want to counter this, it's fine. Ionize. Risk factor number two. Do it. See my long comp. Oh, I guess we just win the game. I guess gaining eight life against the counterburn deck is pretty good. Uh, have you seen the movie with the guy that had people watch him? No, not Truman Show. Oh, I remember. I know what you're talking about. There was, it was like Ed TV, I think. Yeah, it was like the Matthew McConaughey version. I had not seen that. I can't remember the name, but he's always on his computer and trying to entertain people. But in the end, it worked out because he has two... Because he ran two main deck direct... <laughs> okay, well... Okay, so I was thinking of a real movie, and I think you actually just made that whole thing up as a meme. So that's funny. I did I did finish reading your comment, You, f you stupid idiot. God, I love you. God... Don't Thought Erasure's in here? Probably, right? Steal whatever they got. We can take out the Assassin's Trophies. Bring in Thought Erasure's. Probably take out one of the Vraska's Contempts, too. Crushing Canopy seems good if they have niv or the other dudes. We can take out Eldest Reborn. Maybe. Actually. Actually. Yeah, we'll keep it like this. It's actually amazing. Rob, what's your plan tonight, buddy? What are you doing tonight? <laughs> well, that sounded like I was pro Hey, what are you doing tonight, Rob? You want to get together? Want to have a good time? Play some magic? I don't have any standard decks, obviously, because the set just comes out today, but... You stupid idiot. God, I love you. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Everybody's having fun. I felt both halves. <laughs> God, you're such a dummy. Oh, I love you, man. That's how you can tell it's a good friendship. Because you call him an idiot. And then you hug it out. Oh, coaching your daughter. Unbelievable. Wait, you counter this? You gonna negate me? Oh, you got it. I'll, I, I basically just made you discard that, so that's fine. Get, get riggedy wrecked. Let's walk on some branches. Do you like modern as a format? Yeah, modern's like one of my favorite formats. Ionize. It's kind of, it seems like it's hard not to love modern. You can play whatever you want and still do well. Oh, that's, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. You counter this too? You counter everything? Just, just, just got old Dr. Mc, Dr. Counters McGee over here. Oh, that's not a counter. So I get some value. 3 4 is also a solid body. And now we get to play Double Branch Walker next turn? I own eyes, they're watching you. They see your every move, baby. I own eyes. They're watching you, watching you, watching you, watching you. You guys know that jam? That Hollow Notes jam? I own eyes. Oh my god. Feinbroker does look like a sloth from far away. It's just like a big brown mass in the shape of like, this looks 100% like a sloth arm. Oh man, I'll never unsee that. They play with words. You play with love. 
But you're blurring the lines. Now I have Hollow Notes stuck in my head, guys. But it's good. We have not seen any Sonic Assault. Risk Factor? Yeah, I'll take Risk Factor. Um, I don't care about you, unfortunately. You ain't gonna do the job that we need done. They have three cards. Four with this, five with the No, these aren't four and five, though, because they have to discard the card in their hand for it, so... It doesn't actually count as card advantage, you see. What's a Merfolk Brank Eater? What are you even saying, Haji Gulashi? Alright, let's see if you got it. I bet you have it, but you're also at 11, so... Oh, I see. Well then. Well then. That's positively marvelous. Five mana, huh? I think five mana? Oh. Good deal. Did they overpay for that? Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like we're way far ahead. I don't think they have enough time or mana to deal the appropriate number of damage. Even if they go double inescapable blaze twice. Lava Coil, Lava Coil. Red Rover, Red Rover. Send Lava Coil on over. I think we just play this. We're not going to wait till they have a creature. Let's play a land first so we can not get... Cinco Potted. Negate? Ionize? Sure. They have one card in hand. So we can just make their life total 10 next turn. And then kill, or one rather. It feels so good to play a walker and immediately goes to. Oh, yeah, 100%. Braska starting at six and going to eight is pretty, pretty nutso. In me but so. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight mana. Do you seven? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So do they do four and four? This is a 10, right? So they did three? Did they play a land tapped? Oh, they probably played Steam Vents tapped. Sure. But that ain't enough, don't lie. But you're watching the lines. And you, I, guess that'll, I guess that's it. All right. So we're 2-1 right now. That's pretty good. I liked our new, I like our new deck. What up, Dan Omac? I guess this is the stand that is correct. This is the, we haven't drafted yet, so if you guys are waiting for a draft, I'll try this deck again. You can escape my eyes. My gonna be he's at work. I'll keep this hand. Double wild growth walker seems good against them. We don't get to play it until turn three and they could syncopate it, but The old scoop, swoop, boop, and doop, ladies and gentlemen, it does not. Oh, you guys are you guys are having a chat in here. You guys are talking, I guess. Oh, are we still talking about Starship Troopers? That seems fine. We can also play search. Yeah, this hand's good. We just I wish we had uh a basic land would be nice next turn. Interesting. That's not a basic land at all. Did they just take two damage for nothing? Or are they gonna opt? Okay. Hmm. I are confused. This buddy boy. Oh, that guy resolves? Deal. How search for his content? I mean, it's search for his content. It's always good, right? Are they going to double shock this guy? 
Oh, that's great. I think they know they just can't win around a wild growth walker, which is nice because we have two. I mean, search for his count is at a point where, like, you don't actually have to ask how search is in standard, right? Like, it's just, it is what it is. Oh, now they're going to ionize. Ionize. It's burning you. I'll take a basic swamp just so we can go Gravefinder into this guy. Okay, that's Bells and Lock. Let's get some Landoms. Nope, gonna get, gonna get, uh, uh, yeah, we'll take four. Uh, Graveyard, because we want to hit land. Oh, gross. I mean, we got a 4-3 out of the deal. Ionize is very good, yes. It's just Counter Squall, but for everybody. I see. Black Source one time. Okay, another another five mana card. Okay. Yep, missing three land drops. Not great. I'm going to go to the next game because I just don't think we can beat an active Ral with no land drops. I mean... <sighs> what can you do? Take out the Assassin's Trophies, which is what we boarded out last time. Bring in Disdainful Strokes and Thought Erasures. Actually, Disdainful Stroke isn't great. Like, the only card we've seen that, that Disdainful Stroke actually counters is Ral's Eric. Everything else is pretty... Really? You know what? Sure. We'll do it again. Oh, God. I'm actually going to put this on top because by the time we cast it, it shouldn't matter. Like, we're going to go turn three Wild Growth Walker, turn four Branch Walker, so... Would it be too broken if the Arad search for us content to say Surveil one? Um... Isn't that what it does, though? Oh, because it would trigger all the, like, surveil things? That would actually be very good. But it's funny, because I can see them doing that, right? Because Scry was a mechanic that they introduced in a set, and then they've errated all the cards that actually, like, do that to Scry, right? Yeah, you just go, like, search for Azkanta every turn, return my disinformation campaign for free. Yeah, that's pretty good. But you're watching the lies, and you don't escape my eyes. Private eyes. I think we just want this. I think we just want a thought erasure them. Oh, all right. All right. Lava Coil, Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike, Ral Zarek, Shock. Yeah, I'll take the Ral. Uh, put you in the graveyard. That was a good surveil so this is your hand now it's basically nothing I, I don't like the ionize but I mean like what are you going to do counter merfolk branch walker here land please oh, that was such a good hit this guy this guy lightning strike you got it I mean we knew that was going to happen so Coming back. Next turn we can go find broker, get back this guy. Or we can actually get back Frasca, which is pretty nice. She definitely played that. You do have Ionize here, which is pretty rough.
Sorry about first round. I'm dropping LGS. I was watching your drafts all week. Thanks for the content. Really appreciate it. Kruber, that's awesome to hear, dude. Way to go, buddy. Nicely done. Is this a shock? It is a shock. So I three of the four cards. Two of them we don't really care about. I'm only concerned about the Ionize at this point. But being able to have kept you off of Ralph's Eric is pretty bonkers. Uh, play this. Use these. I have black, green. Yeah, we'll thought I'll reassure you. Nope, can't do that. Okay, so we're going to go blue and black. This will be our green, green. This will be our black, black. Yeah, let's do that. You got it. Is that the same one? It looks like the same one. Blue, black, black, green. Get back a Vraska. Seems good. Yeah, this was nice. This was a good addition. I mean, usually, like, Eternal Witness... I mean, it's an Eternal Witness for one more mana, but it's a 3-4 instead of a 2-1, which is pretty sizable. Lava Coil's gone. We'll play an extra land in case they have Syncopate. Uh, if they have Negate, though, it's bad. But I don't think they do. I've yet... Yep, yeah, didn't think so. Vraska going up to 8 against the burn deck is pretty strong. Oh, that was a second red. They might have a, a Ral in hand that they just, like, couldn't play. I'm going to play the Forest because they know we have it uh, from an earlier Merfolk Branchwalker. What do you think is the best color pairing in draft? Uh, I, so far, I think it's either Boros or uh, Demir, but I think all the colors are very, very good if you get the right cards for them. I think they're all very card-dependent. My, the reason I like Demir is because the cards are strong enough on their own without Surveil. Like, you can get the 3-4 Flyer for 2, uh, or you can get, you know, the 5-4 the Flyer for 6. The 2-3 the, the Common that just gets Death Touch if you get Death Touch and draw a card. Uh, I don't think the green is unplayable at all. That's pretty good. Yeah, Vraska was a good addition to this deck. I th I think we've had multiple good, really good Celestia decks. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is probably going to counter. They have three cards, so. But if we're getting the cards out of their hand, it's totally fine because they can't use them on jumpstart cards. They can't. It it shows us fewer. Rel, potential rels or niv mizzets. This is a weird inclusion when, like, in a deck that should be running niv mizzets. So it's interesting. I think we're actually fine here. I think we want one more land. I just don't know what to cut for the one land. That ain't enough, don't lie. Steve Mizzet? I did mean Steve Mizzet. You're right. Oh, any thoughts on playing Carnage Tyrant? I can definitely see Carnage Tyrant in the sideboard. I, it's a card that I don't actually consider that frequently, unfortunately. Uh, this hand's great. Any land we can play Jade Light Ranger. And any black land lets us play Thief. Thief is pretty weak in this matchup because any, everything they have kills it, but it's a one for one, so. But that ain't enough, don't lie. When you're watching the lands, you can't escape my eyes. Come on, buddy. I haven't used a single meme yet. There we go. That feels better. You can't escape my eyes.
I will keep. Water grave off the top would be nice. I would also take an overgrown tomb. Yeah, the uh, the green black eternal witness has been doing quite well, quite well. Yeah, you can play Vine Mare, uh, Nullhide Ferox. Uh, you can play Carnage Tyrant. Just play all the miserable, uncounterable hexproof creatures. What could go wrong? Fashionably late to the party. This guy every game. Lightning strike all the time. This poor wild growth walker, he never survives. I wonder if it's Thief of Sanity instead of Jade Light Ranger. Ooh, search for Azkanta. Actually, we can play Branch Walker and save two points of damage. I don't know if that's better. It might be. Um, bottom. Like, we have a land already. I, I mean, against the burn deck, I kind of want to preserve my life total. Lava Coil. That's an interesting choice. Don't counter me. Buddy boy, don't you know? We could play this into Jade Light Ranger, but we're not gonna we're gonna draw this next turn, right? So Yeah, that guy can go in the graveyard. Jade Light Ranger being a 3-2 that draws you a card for three mana is pretty good. That's a good dude. Don't you kill my Jade Light Ranger. Give me a land. Oh, dang it. <clears throat> I, I almost want to hit land with it. any land. We could have played Doom Whisper, which is pretty insane. I'm pretty sure we have to try to hit a land here. That was rough. Doom Whisper on this board seems pretty insane. It seems like this is a very hard card for them to deal with because it's against a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, this is something that would be perfect to discuss in the Discord channel, but uh, I feel like the, the, the Starship Troopers conversation has gone on for quite a bit. Vegetarian restaurants don't give you a thick enough straw for... Um, yes, but I also think that the milkshake's probably just ice cream still at that point. Oh, wow. Wait, they didn't... Wait, we just get the Veraska? What'd they do this for? Two? Huh. Well, I don't have to make a channel for it because they're not subs, so... It's probably not going to, uh, it's not going to the Discord. Is this target non-land permanent and opponent controls? Oh, that's pretty good. Let's play that guy. 
Is that good though? Like they just replay Ral and Ral starts at five and then they get to negative Ral, but then they like they spend their turn doing it. Thanks for nothing. Wow. Wow. I don't think destroying the search is the play. I really want... I'd rather have something to pressure Ral. And without... Like, if we play Vraska and destroy the search, like, it just doesn't do much. I'm also not on Doom Whisper because then they can just play two, like, instant sorceries and then kill Doom Whisper with Ral. Which I guess gets rid of the Ral, but... We play this, we bounce this, they tap five, replay Ral. If we hit like... Right, we have our own Planeswalker, but they also get to, they get five cards in their hand. They get to plus one with Ral to look at two more cards, which means seven. And, um... Okay, so a couple things. If we play Vraska and kill their, their search, they have infinite ways to find a lightning strike to kill our Vraska because it's a three. And then they get to keep Ral on four, uh, which is really bad. <laughs> and uh, plus they're looking at they're looking at a total of seven cards. Secondly, Dream Eater, we would not do it on their turn because A, that gives them a free Ral activation and B, they have infinite counter spells. So there's no way I would ever play this on their turn instead of just main phasing it right now. Um, I'm pretty sure based on the fact that Vraska is very hard to deal with, I'm just going to play Vraska and plus, so we have a way to deal with Ral. Yeah, Flashing Dreamer EOT says, hey, you can get one free activation off of the Ral. Um, and also, untap all your mana and make sure, and I just have to cross my fingers that one of their six cards is not a counterspell. Which seems pretty bad. See, now Vraska goes to five, and we can kill this. This is a card I want to kill now. Because I feel much safer with Vraska. If they want to tap out, we can actually... Now I'll give them a chance to tap out to play, to play Dream Eater, because... Um, Yeah, so this is nice because now we can probably just flash in a Dream Eater if they're doing some nonsense. I'm actually going to do it right now because we can play around Syncopate. The only thing we're worried about is Essence Scatter. So they have to have an Essence Scatter in three cards. And they do. Never don't have it. Lucky, lucky, <sighs> lucky, lucky, lucky. I mean, there's no way we're getting around Essence Scatter is really what it comes down to. Like, they have to tap all seven mana on their turn. We can get this back with Golgari Fine Broker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. Yeah, three toughness is rough, but it has a lot of it does a lot of things. One, two, three, four, five. We're also at twenty life, which is pretty good. I kind of want to put a bunch of monsters on the board. I don't think this deck has a way to deal with a Vraska.
Well, this guy's getting countered. Faux show. They have 10 instants and sorcerers in their graveyard. That's a lot. Wait, is this draft? I'm tripping. Wow, this resolved. I guess they're just going to neg Ral and kill this and then shock this and then... They have one more insight in the graveyard. They have one risk factor in the graveyard. Oh, God. Is this expansion explosion for four? Sure, that's pretty good. Draw four cards. Yeah, maybe I underestimated that card. Maybe that's a one of in our Grixis deck. Let's pay two and see what happens. I'll keep Thought Erasure on top. So now we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll have 7 mana. We can go this and Thought Erasure into this. Um, we'll have two guys on board. They have 8 cards in hand. That's a significant amount. Nine cards in hand, my mistake. I can't I can't imagine you run more than two of these, right? <sighs> Are they just like looking for shocks or lightning strikes or lava coils for the thief of sanity? Cause Are they trying to figure out whether to kill this or this? Oh my god, they're just cleaning up? We're just cleaning up? What's happening right now? I got to go f five here? And they have to have an answer here. They have seven cards in hand. What? What's going on right now? We get to kill Ral and trigger this? What do you have in your hand? Ionize. <laughs> it's so strong, dude. I mean, they discarded a gate. Like, what's going on right now? I get to ionize your ionize and then get rid of your Ral, and you have three lands, two risk factors in hand. Um, put that guy in the graveyard. So four, eight, twelve, like one, two, three. All right, well that's a lot of risk factors. <whistles> that was pretty insane. All right, so what did you play? You played a Sulphur Falls. Risk Factor. Chemist's Insight, okay. And you discarded Is It Guildgate. So now you should have these three and whatever two you drew. Um, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll put that in the graveyard. We will flip you. We will draw a card. So I wonder if you have a counter spell. Getting back at one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. We are one shy of dream metering. Uh they can risk factor five times, probably, yes. So at some point we're gonna have to give them some cards. Um, let's play Hinterland Harbor. Let's go green, green, black, black, broker. This is the last card in hand. If they have a counterspell, like, okay, well. 
I think we just get back the other broker and just chain brokers together. Green, black, black, green, broker. I just want to put a lot of damage on the board so that we can do things. Risk factor, I will take four. One down. Get back. Dream Eater? That's a good question. Might just be Dream Eater. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 12 damage on board, so yeah, we'll just get back to Dream Eater. So we have Expansion, which is the Red Sphinx's Revelation. Is there a, is what, are the, what other Sphinx's Revelations do we have? Yep, that's fine. So we know you have Steam Vents. Did you play Steam Vents? No, you played a Mountain and a niv -Mizzet. Okay. Well... What is this? Chemister's Insight. Discarding a Guild Gate. Okay, so I don't know what you have in hand. Sure. Can I just target the niv -Mizzet? Aren't you dead? No, I guess not. I guess you're going to kill a... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're still dead if you don't have anything else here, which I don't think you do for one mana. Shock, maybe? There's a 10 on board. There are 10. We kill this. And we win the game. Thief of Sanity was OP. We played it once. It hit an eye and eyes. It countered a thing. This deck is sweet. Oh, we only... We just won with a 14-card sideboard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Maybe one more Assassin's Trophy just goes to the sideboard. That's interesting. Did we have a 14-card the whole time? Wasn't there a card I said we wanted? Wasn't I like, oh, this is what we want? Yeah, we can play one negate in the sideboard. Actually, maybe it's like two negates in the sideboard. I'm not gonna, there's no room for main deck duress, man. I don't think you need it. I think you get hooked on these ideas and then you just like, you think they're like the end all be all of ideas and like you're unwavering on them sometimes. Uh, Unward Ego is for a lot of things. It's for Teferis, it's for Izonis. Like there's a lot of strategies decks have right now that you can just snag um against the deck we just played against you can name ral or niv mizzet it's not a negate deck but like you can play a negate like you can still we had disdainful stroke which was totally fine either way if you guys are watching on twitch i'm not i'm not leaving i'm not done streaming but i will end the youtube video thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out on twitter twitch and patreon both the links are in the description below so you can check them out there uh, i just posted a sweet grixis control deck on Patreon, and uh, for $1 a month, you can check out all the content there. And uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.